These are my game week 25 Bundesliga predictions and betting tips. Let's dive straight in. Gladbach versus Werder. Now, you never really know what you're going to get from Gladbach. They got absolutely hammered 3-0 by Leipzig over the weekend, where Leipzig absolutely dominated them. Gladbach wasn't really in the game at all, and they only have one win from their last five, sitting in that 10th position on the log. But like I said, you just never know what you're going to get from this Gladbach side. They can pull off massive results out of nowhere. Now, Werder coming off a 3-2 loss at home to Bayer Leverkusen maybe uh, Leverkusen are starting to come into some of that form that they were in a couple of months ago Berda sitting in 11th now I do think they're a slightly better team than their positioning at the moment but they only have one win and four losses from their last five so not in good form at the moment I do think this is a very very close shot Gladbach at home are dangerous Gladbach are dangerous just in general we never know what we're going to get so I'm going for a 2-1 Gladbach win and my betting tip is Gladbach to win Augsburg versus Skulk. Now, Augsburg are coming off a 5-3 loss to Bayern Munich in a fixture that historically always produces goals. It was always going to be difficult for Augsburg to go to Munich and try and get a result there. I do think that they'll take some confidence out that they scored three goals, maybe a little bit of issues that they let five pass. But they're currently sitting 13th, two wins uh, and three losses from their last five. So in decent form, but they're coming up against a side in Skulk who are in absolutely phenomenal form, if you ask me. And if you ask anyone a couple months ago, if Skulk were going to be on a seven game unbeaten run, absolutely ridiculous. They're now off the bottom of the Bundesliga for the first time. And they're coming off a 2-2 draw against Dortmund. Yes, Dortmund. They kept up with Dortmund the entire game. Yes, Dortmund obviously had the uh, majority of the chances and possessions. But for Skulk to sit there and take two goals and more impressively score two goals is absolutely incredible. I wouldn't be surprised if Skulk pulls off another win here away from home. But I'm going for a 1-1 draw. My betting tip is Skulk to win or draw. Hoffenheim versus Hertha. Now, I do think Hoffenheim are going to be very, very disappointed in their performances lately. Five losses in a row they're coming off a 2-1 loss against Freiburg where they only had one shot on target the entire game and they got a red card so they're just not helping their cause at the moment and the problem for them is that now they're sitting 18th right at the bottom of the Bundesliga but they coming up against Hertha and to be fair Hertha had a very very difficult fixture against Mainz who's one of the form sides in the Bundesliga at the moment and they managed to keep them to a 1-1 draw which is very very impressive Hertha are currently sitting 15th and in that game against Mainz I do believe they had more chances and were oh arguably the better side for the majority of that game they only have two losses in their last five so i think they're starting to turn their season around they don't want to get relegated they're sort of on the line and they will need a win here to make sure that they can climb the table a little bit i do think hertha are the team in for me and the team to watch so i'm going for a 2-1 hertha win and my betting tip is hertha to win or draw Stuttgart taking on Wolfsburg. Now, Stuttgart are in the relegation zone sitting 16th only have one win from their last five but they pulled off an absolutely huge 1-1 draw against Frankfurt over the weekend, where Frankfurt only had one shot on target, which they scored with. And you could argue that Stuttgart were the better side that day. I know it sounds crazy, but they potentially were and they're coming up against Wolfsburg who also coming off a good draw 1-1 draw against Union Berlin Berlin maybe not in the best form at the moment they have been so good the entire season Wolfsburg have fallen off a little bit but they seem to have slowly started to get their form back from the beginning of 2023 they only have one loss in their last five games and I do think Wolfsburg was the slightly better team against Union Berlin they controlled it and they probably should have won that game now will they be able to beat Stuttgart sitting in 16th desperate to not get relegated I think they should be able to Wolfsburg are good sides I'm going for a 2-1 Wolfsburg win but for the betting tip we're going to stay away from the results and go for both teams to score Bochum versus RB Leipzig now Bochum broke their four game losing streak with a 2-0 win over Cologne I couldn't believe it absolutely incredible stuff from Bochum a team that's sitting 14th really I did not think they'd be able to go to Cologne and beat them so convincingly they went up super early and then just cruised all the way through and picked up the three points now RB Leipzig have had quite the week they absolutely destroyed Gladbach with a 3-0 win and then came up against Manchester City last night in the Champions League 1-1 on aggregates going to uh, the Etihad Stadium was always going to be difficult but I think getting beaten 7-0 by Man City is very very embarrassing and I don't know if RB Leipzig are going to be able to get up for this game mentally they are sitting third and they have won three out of their last five games in the Bundesliga so they are one of the form teams they have played very very good this entire season I do think it's going to be a difficult one against Bochum Bochum will know that maybe Leipzig won't be there mentally I do hope Leipzig bounce back here and I'm going to predict it 
that they do. So I'm going for a 2-1 Leipzig win and my betting tip is Leipzig to win. Dortmund versus Cologne. Now we just spoke about Dortmund's 2-2 draw versus Skolk. It's obvious that Dortmund were going to be the dominant team in that clash, but they weren't as clinical as they should have been, which is why they drew. Now, Dortmund are still on their unbelievable unbeaten run in the Bundesliga, but they came up against Chelsea in the Champions League and gave away a 1-0 aggregate advantage and ended up losing 2-1 on aggregate. So I think that maybe dented them, uh, their confidence a little bit before going into the Skolk game, which is maybe why we saw a draw and not a Dortmund win. Now Cologne coming off a 2-0 loss against Bochum at home is very, very embarrassing. They really should be doing better than that. They are winless in their last four games. And to me, they're just a team that's not in form. They don't have confidence. And I think coming up against Dortmund at home with the yellow wall there is going to be a very, very difficult task for them. So for me, I'm going for a 3-0 Dortmund win. My betting tip is Dortmund to win. Union Berlin taking on Frankfurt. Now, we spoke a little bit about Union Berlin's dip in form at the moment. They're winless in their last four. They still sit fourth in the Bundesliga, so still have a chance to qualify for the Champions League. And we spoke about their 1-1 draw against Wolfsburg, where I do think they were lucky to draw that game. But before that Wolfsburg game, they came up against Union SG in the Europa round of 16, which they drew 3-3 at home. And to be honest, Union Berlin only have themselves to blame. They should not have conceded three goals. They should have won that game quite convincingly and now they're stuck in quite a predicament going to having to travel to Belgium to play Union SG who just beat Genk and will be very very difficult to crack. They're coming up against Frankfurt who are coming off a 1-1 draw against Stuttgart. Frankfurt are playing Napoli in the Champions League. I do think that clash is done. Napoli are just so good at the moment and Frankfurt coming in to the second leg away from home 2-0 down is going to be very very difficult to get back. Frankfurt are also winless in their last three in the Bundesliga and I just think Union Berlin are the slightly better side at home should be getting this Done. So I'm going for a 2-1 Union Berlin win and my betting tip is Union Berlin to win or draw. By Leverkusen taking on Bayern Munich. Now we spoke about Leverkusen's amazing 3-2 win over Voda away from home. They're also doing very, very well in the Europa League, beating Ferenc for us 2-0 in the first leg. Then they play Ferenc for us in the second leg tomorrow night in, in a game they really should uh, possibly be drawing, but should be winning and they should be going through to the quarterfinals. Now, by Leverkusen have found a little bit of form again. They're three games unbeaten. They're sitting ninth, but they are coming up against Bayern Munich who have been in very, very good form. We saw what Bayern Munich did to PSG in the Champions League. PSG didn't score a goal in two games and with the likes of Kylian Mbappe and Messi, that is something to be very, very proud of if you're a Bayern Munich supporter. Now, Bayern Munich are coming off a 5-3 win over Augsburg, which we spoke about. Cancelo getting a goal, Pavard getting a goal, Alfonso Davies getting goals and Leroy Sane getting a goal. So everyone who you would like to get goals in that Bayern Munich team got some goals. They sh Like I said, they showed how good they were against PSG and I do think Bayern should be able to win this one. So I'm going for a 3-1 Bayern Munich win and my betting tip is Bayern to win. Then finally, we've got Mainz taking on Freiburg. Now, Mainz are one of the form teams in the Bundesliga at the moment. Five games unbeaten at the moment. They're coming off that 1-1 draw against Hertha, where they didn't look the sharpest that they've looked in the last couple of weeks. But they are sitting seventh, and they will have their eyes on the Champions League and European football next year. So this is a very, very important clash for them. Freiburg, we spoke about their 2-1 win over Hoffenheim. Hoffenheim just did themselves no favor, and Freiburg just stepped through the door that they opened for them. Now, Freiburg are sitting fifth also unbeaten in their last five games and also one of the form teams in the Bundesliga at the moment they come up against Juventus in the Europa League losing the first leg 1-0 which makes for a very very interesting second leg that's happening tomorrow this is a close game Mainz versus Freiburg is a very very close game and could go either way I do think it's going to be low scoring so I'm going for a 1-1 draw my betting tip is under two and a half goals Guys, and that wraps up the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you give us a like, make sure you subscribe and leave your predictions down in the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.